So yeah, I'm definitely making a banana smoothie. Um, but I'm gonna use carrot powder today, not raw. So I'm, I am breaking the raw today. Mint drops. So, gonna break my raw feast with some carrot powder, basically. So yeah, a couple, couple droppers of that. Another smoothie for, you know, a dollar. You know, if, if you eat three of these a day, um, maybe four, that's, you know, three to four dollars that you're spending on food every day. Most people go and, and you know, they get like a, a cheeseburger. Big Mac. And Big Mac fries for, you know. And a drink for seven dollars. Uh-huh. Big Mac fries and drink for seven dollars. And, you know, that wouldn't fill me up. I know I want to order well, two of those. Four Big Macs. So, anyway. I'm going to go weigh in now, guys. So, please watch yesterday's video to see my results uh, for block one. And see if I've lost any weight. Alright, round two. I, uh, five more bananas. And, um, yeah, I drank that ten banana smoothie pretty fast. So I'm probably going to be nursing this one a little bit bit more. Drink this within a half hour or so. I don't know what I'll put in this, but probably just some ice and water. That's it, just 500 more calories. Smashing in the carbs. Easy done. So So yeah, going to be having one of these high carb, low fat banana muffins my wife made a couple weeks ago. These have been sitting in the fridge and have been staring at me every time I open the fridge during <laughs> raw week. These are, these are good. <laughs> cool. So yeah. Mmm. They're still really moist for being a couple weeks old. Alright, so uh, you're gonna spell it. Chickpeas are ready to go. So yeah, just drain these, look up your recipe, and uh, actually these are beginning to sprout, but we're not gonna wait. Um, but yeah, see the, see how on the tips they're a little white? No. Right there, like on the tip? No. See how it's it's a little white on top. It's getting ready to sprout. So, so here's what the hummus looks like. So Ben, what did you use? Um, chickpeas, tahini, olive oil, uh -huh. um, garlic, fresh garlic. Okay. Uh, smoked paprika. Uh huh. Nutritional yeast. Okay. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne. Water. Man, this smells so good, Ben. Did I say olive oil? You did say olive oil. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Wow. So really simple, guys. Make your own hummus. Um. You know, I can't have too much of this because of the high fat, but you know, this is way better than store-bought hummus. It's completely. Not completely. It's mostly organic. Um, I think just the spices and stuff are not organic. Oh, so yeah, this lemon smells juice. and lemon juice, lemon juice as well. So um, really simple ingredients. Uh, Non-GMO oils. Uh, very low sodium. You want some? Too bad. Okay, so we uh, decided to go see this movie today.
All right, Saturday night dinner. Whooping up some uh, tomato curry sauce. And having some romaine, rice, and got yesterday's beans and some hummus. Good morning, YouTube. It is day 29, and we are about to start block two here. And uh, I looked ahead and noticed that we're going to be doing a lot of push-ups and pull-ups today. And you know, I was I was thinking how much I, I dread these workouts, and I don't want to do them. And uh, I think mostly because I uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to do, do my best, or I'm afraid that. Uh, I'm not as good as I think, and um, but yeah, those are all just like egoic things to be afraid of. It's like just my ego talking when, in actual reality, you know, I I should be excited to do these workouts so I can expose myself to um, to myself really, so I can expose my weaknesses that way I can work on those weaknesses and I'll try to improve myself today I'm, I'm not gonna worry about um, getting done in a half hour per se but just try to focus on doing complete sets where my form is correct and you know I'm really pushing myself and if it takes me two minutes to do some standard push-ups towards the end or something, then I'm going to do that. You know, even though these workouts are only a half hour, you know, it's okay to take 45 minutes to an hour or whatever, however much time you need to get these workouts done. Alright, block two, day 29, eccentric upper. got done doing oh, eccentric upper um, yeah my my ego is not feeling too good right now um, so what it the workout was not what I thought it was um, I looked ahead and saw 19 different exercises and I was like how are they gonna fit 19 exercises um, you know when you when you do push-ups and pull-ups to the max um, how are they gonna fit 19 exercises in 30 minutes and um, it wasn't max uh, it was you do 10 of each uh, exercise but then on the negative so like when you're do a pull-up or a push-up um, let's let's say a push-up for instance so you start in a plank position at the top 
and when you're going down you count the three you slowly one two three explode up one two three explode up and then pull up same thing explode up one two three explode up one two three so there's only ten of each exercise uh, this workout really exposed me exposed a lot of my weaknesses and I uh, you know some of the push-ups even um, and all of the pull-ups of course uh, I couldn't do all ten and we also because we only had one pull-up bar um, we just decided that when the other person was doing pull-ups that would be another rest so uh, there were four sets of pull-ups so uh, and I think there was six times where you rested six or seven times where there was rest breaks it's like 20 to 30 seconds that's it uh, but I had 11 or 12 different rest uh, periods throughout the whole workout, and it took us like 45 minutes instead of a half hour. Okay, <laughs> now that I'm done explaining all that, um, yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> going to dread every single week. Today, later on, just throughout the day, as I'm uh, you know, going throughout my day, I'm just going to do sets of push-ups um, and, and do, do negatives, you know, and... Because before, I would just do push-ups and, you know, maybe I wouldn't go down as much as I should have. And I would come up and, um, yeah, I just wasn't, I just wasn't focused on my form. Um, but with these negatives, you know, you're going so slow that you almost have, you almost should pay attention to your form just because, you're able to, to slow it down and concentrate on your technique a little bit more. But yeah, so I'm just going to be doing more push-ups throughout the day. Um, you know, every time I walk near my pull-up bar, because we always pretty much have it up, because it can only fit in one spot in our house, um, I'll just do I'll just do a chin-up or something, uh, just to you know burn myself out more throughout the day. But anyway. That's it for me. Um, I'm glad that I'm doing this workout on uh, a Sunday rather than a weekday. All right, dinner tonight. A couple of potatoes for me. We got a little piece of lettuce left. That's it. Wife's got some chicken, fake chicken left. My wife's potatoes are garam masala and vinegar mustard miso potatoes. So, got a few cups of lentils here, some extra chickpeas that are left, a few things of rice, garam masala, tomato paste sauce, just homemade out of a can with uh, garam masala. So, wife's gonna have a little bit of hummus that's left and some cheese, and we also got a big plate of corn tortillas here. So, huge meal. Not too expensive for all this. Just gotta put in the effort and make it yourself, and it's pretty simple. Here's the chronometer for June 28th, 2014. So I had a big banana smoothie for breakfast over the course of uh, about an hour. For lunch, I had a uh, leftover high-carb, low-fat vegan banana muffin that my wife made. And at the movies, I had ginger chews. You saw dinner, white rice with curry, tomato puree, some lettuce, a little bit of hummus, beans. So that amounted to 2,800 calories, 650 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of fat. A little high on the fat, more than I'd like it. 87.7 carbs, 5.8% fat. That's all right, though. I'm still under 20. So, even got some B12 today. Enough amino acids, so we're good to go on those. June 29th today had 12 banana smoothie, 7 ounces of frozen blueberries. Uh, on my, um, I did make another one. 
Um, I actually had two of these, so on my second one, I had turbinado sugar. Um, had some oranges and five more pieces of candy for lunch. 100 calories, a little extra sugar, no fat. Next, um, you saw white rice, a few potatoes, peas. Um, this time I had garam marsala tomato sauce. So, then I had a little bit of hummus. I said I wasn't, but I did. We don't make it that often. So, about the same amount of fat, almost 20. So a little higher than I like it, but it's all right. Um, almost 800 grams of carbs, 80 grams of protein. Um, 87.7 again, well, 4.6, so a little bit lower calorie-wise. Probably because I had a lot more. Had a lot more bananas for breakfast. No B12. And plenty, plenty, plenty of protein. That's it for the weekend. And that brings us to the end of day 29. Uh, but it's also the beginning of block 2. And I had a really hard workout today. Lots of push-ups, lots of pull-ups. And also did a lot of extra push-ups and, and chin-ups as well. So maybe about 100 extra push-ups throughout the day and maybe 10 extra chin-ups um, so easy done guys get those extra ones in so tonight we're gonna toast to doing some extra going the extra mile cheers guys come by <laughs> cheers dude Thank <laughs> you.